tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. Today we're looking at the Pentavocal Trem by Redwich, and the beard is going to tell you a little bit about it, and we're going to feature a few of the unique things. Right. Are you telling? Me? I'm not I'm laughing because the Redwich thing started with you coming over with the course, the old course puddle you had. Right. You're like, we did an episode. Yep, right back there. Should I keep it? Should yeah. I sell it? Whatever. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the episode, not only did you keep it, but you ordered two more. You found scrounged yeah. two more red witches. I got the moon phaser and I got this and I was looking at the triple delay that they had. I had right. To, please step away. <laughs> step away from the red witch. So, but they're really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they make cool stuff. These are kind of older pedals for them, but they have some new stuff out. Um, you know, hopefully someday we'll be able to check out some of the new Yeah, like the smaller there. footprint. Uh, right. They have pedals. some like battery powered, mm -hmm. like ones that you charge. Right. Like you actually, I think they have a battery in them that use mm -hmm. like rechargeable pedals. So... Um, pretty standard tremolo with some like like one of the things we've said the whole way through the tremolo series is almost everyone has something kind of unique or special about it, right? right. So mm -hmm. people kind of get their good tremolo circuit, but then they have a little twist, and this right. has some twist mm -hmm. too. So reference tone, I think it's on. We're just skipping the features. And yeah, reference tone. I don't even know what I'm gonna play. I was trying to. Uh... Revolta Mondata 8, Tyler Ampworks, JT22. So I think on this pedal, we'll start with the first three knobs, mm -hmm. which are velocity, depth, and volume. We typically don't mess with volume a lot. We have it set for unity. So yeah. because of that, there is some area to push it. Yeah. Um, I guess we could, I mean, we could. Just show a little bit of it, sure. Um, let's do it like this. We'll turn depth off. And just show how it could be maybe a boost. All right. Well, then I'll play something different. I haven't done that to the pedal before. That's actually pretty nice. <laughs> That's actually a... So this is the boost pedal by Red Wings. <laughs> right, the way it boosts that <laughs> ass. Man, that was sweet. That's right. Um, wow. Yeah. Bonus. Very Bonus nice. For us. In case you couldn't tell, that was genuine surprise. <laughs> yeah, it really was. I must want to do it again. Unscripted. Um, uh, let's, let's do depth. Right. We'll start it in the middle. That gives you a chance to hear what the speed is. We'll roll it all the way to the left, and then we'll roll it all to the right. All the way to the right. Robbie. Yeah. Like we'll back that off a little bit. And so what we typically do is do speed knob next. Uh, we roll it all the way to the left. And then we to roll see how all, slow it goes. To see how slow it goes. And then we roll it all the way to the right to see how fast it goes. So we'll do that real quick. With the velocity. So this is the slow speed. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I 
I joke, I have no idea if it's true or not. It's from New Zealand. I don't know if the toilet flushes the opposite direction. The water <laughs> goes around and uh, or they just got these pots. But yeah, so it's different in the sense that it's faster to the left, slower to the right. Which we had an I had an epiphany about delay pedals in the <laughs> <Yes>. times, right? <laughs> Only about thirty the, years later, <laughs> the time hub, not too long ago. So I was wondering. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so that takes care of those. There's another knob on here called bottom, and mm-hmm. I think not to, not to always read stuff, but I think it's interesting <laughs> to read. So he's on the sheet here talking velocity, depth, volume, giving you a little description of them. Mm-hmm. Then he says bottom. Yes, we've labeled one of the controls bottom. Not out of homage to a British comedy series or to the shapely derriere of the fairer sex. (laughs) As a totally new option for tremolo users. We're assuming Ben Fulton wrote this, the (laughs) creator of Red Witch, which in his bio, the very first thing it says about Ben Fulton, Ben Fulton has never killed a man, not even once. (laughs) A little New Zealand humor for you. Right. This whole thing is chalked through. Cheeky. Yes, it's it's very funny. Um, Turn the bottom control all the way to the left as the volume decreases all the low and disappears, but set it all the way to the right. And you'll find that as the volume decreases, all the high end and mid range disappears. And so I think if we set this kind of slow, right, and then we'll set the depth pretty high, you'll be able to hear that. We'll leave. We'll do in the middle. Maybe a strum in the middle. Then I'll go. It's interesting because we haven't even gotten into this yet because it's a pentavocal because there's five different settings. I could see it goes from bright to fuller, right? Mm-hmm. So if you got to the brighter ones and you wanted to put a little more bottom into it, maybe that's why that control is there. I'm not really sure, but it's it oh, definitely yeah. adds it like to put a little because it gets pretty pretty bright on the top end, which we'll get through the – I jumped ahead there. But well, no, let's maybe see. that's partly why that's there. I, so we've been using position five, which right. is probably – the the darkest or right. more full. Mm-hmm. If we go to position one. It almost, do you get like a, it's not a harmonic tremolo. Right, but it does kind of like they're passing each other. Right, because I mean a harmonic would be when the highs are there, the lows aren't, and vice versa. Right. They're kind of dipping back and forth. Right. But by playing with those highs and lows on it, I almost feel like there is a harmonic. Mm. It's like leaning in that direction a little bit. Right. Um, and I, I could be totally wrong about that, but. This is what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. So that was position one. Let's run the other four positions, right. whatever you're playing, and I'll just turn. You want a little more speed on it? Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> then, oh, oh, kidding no. me. The editor's going to kill you. Let me give you. Let me turn it down so you have. Thank you. 
another unique feature about the spell. Right. So you have two waveforms. You have a sine wave and you have a square wave. And then this button pops you back and forth between the sine wave and the square wave. And just because I can, he says... The wave foot switch allows you to jump from a lovely smooth tremolo over to a hard square chop by simply depressing your foot. Bad foot, ugly, good for nothing foot, stinky foot. Which almost sounds like some kind of Frank Zappa tune or something. Um, I liked the 4 5 range better. Yeah, yeah. But then I was thinking if you were playing like maybe a guitar with humbuckers or something that was a little darker. Mm hmm. Like, obviously, for this guitar, these bright pickups, I'm really like, I like five probably the best. Right. But a darker guitar, maybe roll it back a little bit. Yeah. So you could kind of match that. Or depending on the song, if you're playing something that you wanted a real, like, kind of high poppy thing. So there is some flexibility in this. Mm -hmm. between Between the pentavocal switch and between the bottom. Right. Yeah. And then you can change the sign. So on this one, not so much dialing in the waveform and how the waveform reacts, but spending more time maybe thinking about the the tone of the whole tremolo mm -hmm. and, you know, how deep and throbby it is. Is it, where's the low end coming in and going out and that kind of stuff. So, again, you know, just another good trem, great tremolo paddle, I right. think. Right. That has some really nice sounds in it and then lets you tailor specific things. All analog. There's no digital mm -hmm. wizardry going on here. Nope. And if you go to Red Witch's website, I can listen to Ben Fulton talk all day. <laughs> yeah. So I think with that, that's the Red Witch uh, Pentavocal Trem. Uh, and we're at that point in the show. We always like just to pause and say thanks for watching. Uh, we really appreciate everybody that has subscribed, hits the notification button, hits the like button, leaves comments below. What's your favorite feature in the Tremolo? I, I always forget to ask, but we've done right. so many of these. It would be neat to see what people are really kind of zeroing in on their favorite features the must-haves if you would mm -hmm. um yeah stopping out facebook or instagram so anytime you interact with the show it helps us out we really appreciate that and i think with that i'm pj on behalf of the beard reminding you no matter what you hear you never have too much gear barber should barber it up <laughs>